Hey everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel where we show you how to build a remote cleaning business. Today I have a special training for you. We're going to be giving you the entire SOP that took my business from zero to $40,000 a month in the cleaning space. Now, this is gonna be a four part video, so I need you to pay attention closely, all right? I'm gonna be screen sharing and showing you the exact steps that you need to take to build the foundations of your business and scale your business. So what I want you to do is get a pen and paper, we're gonna get started. I'm gonna move you guys over to the screen right now. Subscribe, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Therefore, I can answer them for you or make a piece of content around that. Ask as many questions as you want. There is no such thing as a stupid question. But if I did my job correctly, in which I think I did, with the training that I'm about to give you, will give you all the information that you need and leave you with no unanswered questions. Besides that, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys on the other side, and let's get started. All right, so this is an entire SOP on how to go from zero to $40,000 a month in your cleaning business, part one. Let me start off by saying this. I know this is possible because I've done it myself. Depending on when you're reading or watching this, I'll probably already be past that number. I didn't wanna just make this training without proof, so there's gonna be some case studies for you in the description where you can see what our Modern Made members are doing as well. But without further ado, let's start moving forward, okay? What is a remote cleaning business and why you should start one? This is a really big, important topic. You don't just want to start businesses because of catchy subtitles or catchy or uh, whatever they're called. Uh, uh, pay, I don't know. Uh, clickbait. That's what it is. So you don't want to start a business because of clickbait. You want to start it because you want to grow something. All right. Now, a remote cleaning business is actually not a new business model, contrary to belief. It's just one of the simplest businesses to start, especially as a new business owner. I've created 20 businesses and failed at 16 of them. I can tell you from my own failures that a remote cleaning business is the simplest business that you can start. If you follow this training to the T and don't deter from what I'm going to tell you, and, and then you're gonna see that this is one of the easiest businesses to scale as well. So it's an easy business to start, easy business to scale. See, most people have this problem. Let me rephrase. Most gurus have this problem. The, they only know how to show you how to create a cleaning business. But in this day and age, creating a cleaning business is not enough to be successful. You need to learn how to actually maintain and scale the business. Those are one of the four things that you're going to learn about today. But let's get back on topic. So your question is, Kyrie, what is a remote cleaning business? Simple. It's a cleaning business where you own nothing but control everything. You hire subcontractors to handle all of the cleanings and i mean all of the cleanings this means you solely focus on booking the jobs but never going to the cleaning yourself i'm sure that you have a bunch bunch of questions on how that works but let's not get into that now we will save that for later for now just continue following along as a remote cleaning business owner you're responsible for three things customer acquisition cleaning coordinating and customer service literally that is it if you want to learn how to clean homes yourself, you should probably leave this training now because I can't teach you how to do that. I mean, I can, but I don't want to relive the days of me scrubbing walls at a move out cleaning in the middle of the projects. I feel, all right, so I feel like I still have your attention, so let's continue. Now, you know the what and the why. So how about we segue into the how? I'm tired of those free trainings that don't tell you how to do something. They just spend an hour telling you the what. Let me put your concerns to rest. I'm going to leave no stone unturned by the time we get to the end. So I need you in a quiet area with something to write and a notebook because class is in session. Disclaimer, these are my methods and frameworks that I use. I'm not promising that they will work for you, but I am promising that this will allow you to get your business to at least 40,000 a month if you implement everything and don't stray from the frameworks that you are about to learn. Ready? Great. All right, so let's get started. We're gonna talk about the how, setting up your business. So opening your cleaning business, going from zero to $10,000 a month. This is the beginning steps to get you to 40K. You need to get to 10K before you can worry about 40K. So I'm gonna break down the exact steps. This is the part one of the four part series, all right? So follow these exact steps and do not skip. They are here for you for a reason. This is the SOP. So one, we're gonna create a company name. Don't overthink it, it's not that serious. When I created my company, Legacy Maids, I literally was just like, uh, Legacy Maids. And I happened to see Legacy somewhere and I was just like, Maids, okay, cool. Two, go to Canva and create a logo. 
use a templated logo from Canva. Don't invest in vanity things until your business is really making money. And what I mean by that is don't start investing, worrying about branding and the colors because that's where people get stuck. It's irrelevant. You need to be making money. So that's what you should do. Focus on making money. We're just doing this to have some sort of foundation so people can recognize that we are a real brand. All right, but it's not the main thing you want to focus on when starting a business. Those are the things you want to focus on when you're getting into the scaling of a business. All right, and I'm going to show you guys really quickly what I mean by the templated things in Canva. You know, excuse me that I'm going to be, I'm literally giving you guys everything live right here. All right, so cleaning logo. I'm going to walk you through everything step by step and as quickly as possible, of course. So cleaning, boom, I would pick any one of these. Customize this template. From here, all you're going to do is just company name. Let's just say Modern Made. All right, but you're going to have a bunch of templates that you could choose from. And boom, put a little background on there, uh, something light. I don't know, I, don't, I never like to use the color red. Boom, there's your, there's your logo, just that simple. Next. Don't use the name Modern Made, by the way. Thank you. Um, next, you're gonna do you're gonna buy your domain from GoDaddy. That's pretty simple. All you gotta do is buy a domain and get a professional email. This is your company. Take some pride in it. Don't do that thing where it's uh, let's just say modernmade at gmail.com. Why would someone pay me pay you a premium price if you're not even investing in your business? So please go buy an actual domain and get a professional email. Next, you're going to uh, purchase general liability insurance. All you got to do is go here, all right? Before I have a million tabs open, let me not do that. So you're just going to type in next insurance. This is where I get mine from. This is where I, these are my people that have my insurance. All it is is going to be get an instant quote. I can't tell you how to fit, uh, put your insurance on, but what I did is I just kept things very simple. So boom, you're going to put your state. Whatever your state is, my, my company's located out of Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas. Shout out to Texas. House cleaning and maid service. Boom. Next. Let's see. Email. Yeah, I got a bunch of emails. So, yeah. They're going to get the quote. And then there's going to be an entire application. Make sure you use minimum for everything. It has one or more employees. So, everything is as low as possible. All right? But I'm not going to fill out this whole entire application for time's sake. You could fill it out and you'll be all right. Okay? Um, next, we're going to sign up for Google My Business. All you're going to have to do is go here, Google My Business, type that in your search bar just like that. From here, you're going to go to, um, you can just start, start right there, get business profile listed. I'm in Colombia right now, so everything's in Spanish. Boom, click right there, and it's probably just going to be like, it's going to say sign up, and then all you're going to have to do is sign your business up. Okay, so that's Google My Business. Next, buy a website. If you want to buy a website from me, there's going to be a link in the description. They're not expensive at all. So click the link in the description and you can get your website. These are templated websites that will be branded to your business. This is what my website looks like. It's literally this simple. I'm giving you guys the meat and the potatoes right now. Boom, I told you that I am here. I'm in Dallas, Fort Worth. Here we go. Got the chat bar. Got an automatic booking form here. All that good stuff, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. You can actually create your own website if you want. But if you want simplicity, there's a link in the description where you can order a website from me. Next, you're going to need to sign up for a booking software. You need a booking software. Do not try to cheap out on it. I have a booking software that you can use and that I love using. It's called modernmade.io. It's actually what allows this to happen. So when you see the booking software on my actual thing, my uh, website, it's because it's connected. You could, I have a little piece of code that I copy into your website for you where people could book online. And having this online booking form is so convenient and so simple, all right? And that's also, there's going to be a link in the description for that as well. And it's just going to be modernmade.io, and you'll have a 30-day free trial. So if you like it, cool. If you don't, you can always try something else at no risk to you at all. But you're going to love Modern Made IO, right? Because when I started in this business, there are a lot of CRMs and softwares that just couldn't do what I needed. Modern Made IO has everything you need. And I'll even I'll have other videos about Modern Made IO just so you know just how great that software is. And I take a lot of pride in it. Next, 
you're gonna need go high level all right there's going to be a link in the description as well for go high level you're going to need that because that's gonna help you build out automations and things like that if you use my link and you know shout out to these affiliate links but if you use my affiliate link I will give you all of my automations follow-up sequences landing pages sales processes free of charge as long as you use my link all right and I will help you set it up as well that go high level link will also be a link in the description now, next boring business Academy I mean the boring business growth hub this is where and you don't have to go at this business alone by the way but this is where a bunch of remote cleaning business owners and other home service business owners are actually working together and networking People need to stop trying to do everything by themselves when starting a business because that is the exact reason why they go nowhere. In reality, you only know what you know and you can only go as far as what you know. It's better to have people where you could post inside of a Facebook group, ask a question and get feedback and responses. Let me see if I could bring it up for you really quickly. All right. Go to Facebook. After that, let's go to boring business growth hub boom we keep our and also just so you know you must answer the questions to get inside the group because we do not accept everybody inside the community all right so yeah like this is what i'm saying like there's people who ask questions and at the end of the day there's always somebody to answer i make posts in here my business partner makes posts in here all of that good stuff so there's always going to be somebody commenting when you need advice here you go it's going to be right here and there's always people to help out so join the community and you already know what i'm going to say the link is going to be in the description boring business growth hub and it's just going to be a link click that link make sure you do that now before you even continue the training just request access so by the time you're done with the training i'll be able to i mean you'll be able to also ask questions as we go further along okay remember you don't have to go about this by yourself it's better that you don't and lastly if this is your first time joining uh watching my youtube channel i post free content consistently my 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 goal in life is to help people start cleaning businesses so eventually they can start other home service based businesses utilizing the same framework so drop a uh, drop a follow if you can and once you subscribe to my channel it keeps me going so i can keep making more content all right now I know I got through that fast and I know it seemed like a lot of stuff, but trust me, you're going to need all of it. As we continue building your business, you will begin to see how the machine comes together. Now, do not move forward without completing all of these steps. And if you have any questions or feel stuck, don't hesitate to post the question inside the Boring Business Growth Hub community on Facebook or leave a comment under this video, okay? All right, so now we're gonna be talking about how to find subcontractors. We have the branding down, you guys have all the, all the resources to get help, all of that good stuff. So we're gonna talk about how to find subcontractors. This is really important. If you don't have any subcontractors, you can't do any cleanings. So let's begin. Which came first, the chicken or the egg? That's the question we will always ask ourselves in this space. Should I get jobs first and then find cleaners or should I have cleaners first and then find jobs? My answer, always have the cleaners ready to go because it's a lot harder to find amazing cleaners in this uh, than it is to book jobs. There are people searching for reliable cleaning companies every day, but there aren't many reliable cleaners to fit the demand. Follow these exact steps in order and do not skip, okay? So step one, you're gonna go to, the, uh, fa go to Facebook and look up cleaning groups, or my favorite uh, method is ask for a referral inside your local community group, all right? Let me show you what I mean by that really quickly. So let's just do DFW construction needs. This is a local group where people are asking X, Y, and Z. I would put something like this and be, can anyone recommend a cleaner for a three bed, two bath post construction clean? Something along those lines. And then click post, boom, you'll see a bunch of comments coming in. Literally just that simple. And then you can begin filtering through them. All right. Let me see here. If we, we could click search really quick, let's do cleaner. Let's see what other posts there are. Look at that. Boom. So she's in DFW. She already posted that she's a professional house cleaner. That's a lead right there that you can reach out to. And then here you go. Looking for a housekeeper slash house, uh, a house cleaner for her Airbnb. Look at those comments. More leads right there. Boom. 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 Look at all these leads. These are people you can reach out to to find, find subcontractors. It's that easy, right? I'm telling you. I told you guys. I'm giving you the how. I'm giving you the game right here. Keep watching. 
because I'm giving you the game. Please drop drop some more comments in there. Let me know. Like, I want to know every one of your favorite parts. When something's hitting hard, you're like, mm, he really did that? Put Leave something in the comments for me. Let's make this video go viral. All right, because I'm giving you this for free. All I want in return is to continue growing my YouTube channel so I can continue on my mission. But let's get back to it. All right. So these are all leads that you could uh, you could work with. Now, um, once you find your local community group, all you need to do is make that post that I just did. And it's can anyone here recommend a cleaning company for a three bed, two uh, bath clean? That's reliable. Watch. You're going to see all the comments begin flooding in. People want jobs right now. All right, two, once you have people reaching out to you, this is when you begin the filtering process. Just because you have a lot of people commenting does not mean that they're going to be a good fit to partner with inside your business. So all you would have to do is, this is, a, this is the exact message that I send. Once again, everything I'm telling you is what's being done in my business. There's no fluff here. You're getting everything direct. So this is what I say when I begin doing my outreach from everyone who commented. Let's say, hey, thanks for commenting on my post. The job is filled, but I do get jobs like this all the time, and I can't always take on the job because of my busy schedule. Are you open to having some jobs subbed out to you, etc.? If they say yes, then begin engaging in the conversation. Also, make, make sure you talk like a normal human being. This is not supposed to be a job interview. You know, this is supposed to be uh, a conversational type of dialogue, and there's also going to be a link inside the description with our conversational script SOP and how we communicate with potential subcontractors. By the way, if you would like us to find subcontractors for you and or and provide you with a list of cleaners, there's going to be a link below, DFW Subcontractor Attraction, and that service is going to get you an entire list. Like we scrape the entire internet for cleaners inside your area. All right, cool. Uh, next, let's just say you found the best cleaner. All right. It's not enough to just talk to them. You're going to have to book, do a test clean. A test clean is basically where you see their cleaning skills. So one, book the test clean. Book this test clean either at your house or a friend's house. For the test clean, you will pay them $100 and only have them like clean three rooms. My go-to rooms are the bathroom, kitchen, and living room. Listen, if you're already going to be complaining about paying someone $100 and reinvesting into your business, once again, this probably isn't for you. But if you are ready to invest in your business, you will pay that 100 bucks. You're only going to need to test out three or four cleaners. All right. Um, you don't need them cleaning the entire house. It's just a test clean. You want to make sure that they are punctual, professional, and a great cleaner. Your cleaners are a representation of you. But remember, they are not your employees. Two, after a successful test clean, make sure you pay them immediately. This test clean is the best way for, you, for both parties to represent and show how professional one, one another is. If the feedback from the test clean is good or bad, they must be paid. It's just the cost of doing business. I recommend you do about five test cleans because you want at least two solid cleaners early on, especially since cleaners will have their own jobs and schedules that they need to attend to. You want to have a backup. And then three. Let them know you begin reaching out to them with jobs within two weeks, but only say it if you mean it. But if you're following this entire training, you're going to be able to book them jobs within two weeks. So these are the key takeaways. All right. Always do the test clean. If you feel stuck, ask the community for help or post, uh, leave a comment inside, leave a comment inside the uh, YouTube video and I'll be more than happy to answer for you. I will answer all comments. And three, if you want us to find a subcontractor for you, all you have to do is click the link in the description. And also just so you guys know, this is gonna come in a PDF format for you. That's why you see like little click here things as well. All right, cool. So now we have the foundations of our business built. We have the subcontractors. You should have signed up for all the softwares that I told you to. And the next thing we're going to focus on is how to book jobs. And we're going to be doing organic marketing, which is more so free ways to do marketing. Don't worry. This is all going to come together. Just trust me and follow along step by step. All right. I will see you guys on the other side. We're about to get started with the next section of the training. How to book jobs. And this is where we're going to start talking about um, organic marketing. Okay. So organic marketing is like that free marketing type of stuff. All right. So now that things are starting to get real, you set up the foundations of your business. You have a couple of reliable cleaners, but now it's time for you to, to, for you to book some jobs. Yes. You knew this time was coming. All right. When the business, well, you knew that the time was coming when the business was going to become real. I want to let you know that I'm going to list out all the marketing platforms that I know of. They all have their pros and cons, but I'm going to list out in order what I think is the best. I mean, from best to least, 
You have to decide what works for you in your area. I can't make that decision for you. I can only uh, inform you. Before you begin paying for advertising, I'm a firm believer that you need to maximize the free traffic from your sphere of influence. So many people miss out on literally thousands of dollars because they are sh too shy to ask people closest to them for support. Sometimes you don't have people who can support you, and I understand. I didn't when I first started my business. I live in Texas, but I actually spent my entire life in New Jersey. So I had to do it the old fashioned way, all right? Anyway, let's pretend you know a couple of people and let me walk you through some steps for organic traffic. So step one, and remember what I said, follow all my stuff in order, okay? I want you to reach out to all your friends, family, and even coworkers asking if they know anyone who may need a cleaning. During the startup stage, you should be willing to give a hefty des discount because your goal should not be to make profit out the gate. Your goal should be proof of concept. This is when you give discounted services in exchange for Google reviews. Why would you do that? Because the more reviews you have, and social proof you have on Google, the less pushback you will get when you begin charging premium prices. And as we go throughout this training, you're going to see how much we charge and why we charge premium pricing. But let's stick to the matter at hand. Two, the next resource you can use for free traffic is finding businesses on Google My Business. All right. Let me actually show you guys what I mean by that. So we could do Google My Business. And let's just say we do dentist office in Fort Worth, Texas. You put whatever area you want to put in, all right? Literally, you can go to the maps here, click their website. And then once you click their website, you could hit contact us, whatever office. You can even reach out to them in the chat if you want to, okay? But yeah, you can contact us, send them an email, or give them a call because you, you're going to have their phone number. Their phone number is going to be somewhere here, okay? So yeah, but contact us, and here's their contact information, and here is an exact email as well that you can reach out to them. So boom, all right? That's how you're going to do it. All right, let's get back to the training. So that's why I love Google My Business. You could literally type in any brick and mortar business and contact them via email and phone call to see if they need your services. You can do this one by one, cold email, or have a virtual assistant do the outreach for you. But if you're just starting out, I don't recommend hiring a virtual assistant, and we'll discuss that more when we start talking about scaling. What I want you to do is open up a Google, uh, Google Doc on Google Sheets, um, and then label the top row, name of business, email, and phone number, all right? So your whole entire sheets should look like that. And then you begin building out your lead list, aka the people that you're going to contact. Make sure you're reaching out to 50 people a day because if you do that consistently over a span of 30 days, you're reaching out to 1,500 businesses, okay? I'm pretty sure within 30 days, you're going to get a client or two. You should at least walk away with five new clients. Next is going to be LinkedIn outreach. I know most people forget about LinkedIn, especially if you don't work in corporate during the day to day, but LinkedIn is my best friend. Why? Because you get to skip the flooded email inbox of a small business and you can go straight to the inbox of a decision maker. Use this to your advantage. People still aren't capitalizing on the full power of LinkedIn as of yet. The best job titles to search for if you want to get cleaning businesses is going to be property managers, office managers, facility managers, project managers. Just to make it easy, let me bring you guys into my LinkedIn and I can show you what I'm talking about. All right. You guys are getting this raw, by the way. I'm just going right now. Property manager. Boom. So whatever your area is, property manager, whatever, you can send a connection, add a note. Hey, looking forward to connecting. Once they accept your connection request, then you can reach out to them, you know, start, start, start some conversation. Don't just go off offering your services, but then you can begin reaching out saying, Hey, I'm a cleaning company. I was curious if you need any cleaners. So especially with property managers, they're always looking for more cleaners. All right. Now, don't forget when you're doing manual organic outreach, you, you must remember that it's a volume game. 
The more people you talk to, the higher probability you have to close a customer. My first customer was actually the customer who, uh, who changed my entire cleaning business. So in this space, you never know who is who. Therefore, get to know everybody. 50 contacts a day keeps the headaches away. 100 contacts a day keeps the bills at bay. I have another YouTube video, which will be linked in the description, breaking down uh, outreach, all right, and the outreach methods. When I say, hey, I'm dropping all the content, it's all on my YouTube channel, so make sure you're uh, subscribed. So this is how you do organic content, I mean, organic outreach, meaning free outreach. We're going to get into paid ads as well, but right now, I don't know what level you're at, so I'm trying to make sure everybody has some sort of resource that they can utilize for their business. We're gonna get into the paid marketing, so let's begin. Okay, so now we're gonna start talking about um, booking jobs and marketing, but we're gonna be talking about paid methods, all right? So don't shoot the messenger, but in my opinion, paid traffic is the best way and it's the fastest way to scale. Why? Because it brings a higher intent type of lead and you can cut out the noise and go straight to the person who raised their hand and showed interest in a service like yours. I'm going to write out the paid ad, form, paid ad platforms that I think are the, uh, they are the best to the least best. But remember, I'm not saying one is better than the other. I'm saying that these are what worked for me and gave me the highest ROI. So there are a few things that you can use. One, Google Ads. Do not confuse that with local service ads. Google Ads is a pay-per-click platform. Two, Google local service ads. That is a pay-per-call platform. Three, Thumbtack. Four, Yelp, the paid version, and Facebook ads. But Facebook ads requires a lot of high volume, meaning you, it needs a, it's a bunch of leads in order to actually generate a deal. But I'm going to break these down one by one for you, all right? So make sure you're paying attention. So Google Ads, the pros. There is a learning curve to setting them up, so I highly recommend that you pay someone to set up the ads for you at the very least. At least pay them to set up the ads. You don't have to pay them to manage it, but pay them to set it up. If you would like me to set up the ads for you, all you have to do is click the link in the description labeled Done For You Google Ads. Um, the reason why I prefer Google Ads is literally because you can set up your ads in 45 minutes and start getting new customers in 24 hours, depending on the location. Once you have a performing Google Ads campaign, you pretty much never have to touch it again. You could just let it run and you could generate one to one to three leads a day on a 20 to 25 dollar ad spend, like as in meaning 25 dollars a day ad spend. The cons of Google Ads. Sometimes it takes 30 days for a campaign to optimize, which means finding your ideal customer that you're looking for. Just like any, market, any marketing platform out there, there is a learning phase when you're running ads. You cannot skip that part of a campaign. You just have to work through it. Besides, besides the learning phase, I actually have no complaints about Google. So here's what you need to do to set up uh, to be compliant with your Google Ads. One, you need a landing page. Do not send the, um, this to your website. I mean, the, the Google ads, don't send potential leads to your website. You need a landing page. Um, let me see if I can clean. Uh, yeah, let's see, I have a random landing page, all right? This is just a, a dummy one. I just wanna show you guys what I mean by landing pages. So this isn't their actual website. This is just a landing page. This is where people go, this is where they can get the quote or the call of the business, and that's exactly what it is, all right? Please submit their blah, 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 blah. So that's a landing page. The reason why I told you guys to sign up for Go High Level and use my link is because I actually give you my performing landing page that I use in my business. If you have any questions about that or you signed up for Go High Level already and didn't use my link, just shoot me a message or leave a comment. My contact information will always be in the description or post in the community, the Boring Business Growth Hub, because I monitor that community every day. Next, you're going to need a secondary domain, meaning you have to buy a new domain. Do not use your main domain that is attached to your actual website. You need a secondary domain. It doesn't matter what the name is. It could be clean dot your company name, all right, or clean your company name, all right. My my company name is Legacy Maids. Um, when I for my landing page, I think don't give me, don't don't crucify me for this, but I think it's cleanlegacymaids.com, all right. So you need a secondary domain. Three, you're going to need an automation follow-up sequence because when leads come in, you want to get to them fast. So that's also why I recommend your go, uh, you signing up for Go High Level. 
uh, because it literally can automate your lead response process and take advantage of that free 14 day trial. And when you sign up with my link, I'll give you my exact automations and landing page so you ensure your sales are performing. You don't have to think about it. You don't have to go through the learning curve of go high level. You just use my link and everything will import for you automatically and I will still help you set it up as well. All right. Next, Google local service ads. Google local service ads. This is Google's pay per call platform for home service businesses. All right, let me actually show you guys so there's no confusion. This is Google ads. Excuse me that it's in Spanish once again. This is Google ads. There's a difference. So this is what Google ads would look like. But this is what Google local service ads will look like. These are two separate things that I want. Look, boom. This is local service ads. You can do more research on what it is. Of course, everyone does a local housekeeping. So let's go back to the training. Where is it? Okay, here we are. So unlike Google ads, you don't have to worry about the complicated setup and always monitoring your campaign to see it performs. With Google local service ads, all you need is insurance, five reviews, and to adjust your target location. Now, at the time of this video, I'm still using Google local service ads, but it's no longer my primary source of lead flow. But first, let's talk about the pros. The Google local service ads pros. You don't need technical skills to set up or run these ads. Next, it's a pay per call, which means you are only charged when someone calls and inquires about your business directly. But, but the lead cost is a little high. Three, these leads are not shared. Neither are Google ads, but these leads are not shared. The things I'm gonna list below, sometimes the leads get shared. And lastly, the setup for Google local service ads is simple. I mean, anyone can do it. It's literally putting in some information, but there are requirements to get onto the platform and you could check their requirements. I don't wanna tell you what they are now because they're constantly changing. Next, the cons. The lead cost at the time of this video is December 9th, 2023 is like 40 to $50 a call, which is why it's not my primary lead source anymore. When I was using, when I first started with Google ads, there was only $17 a call, so the margins made sense and I was getting calls left and right. But this is why it's no longer my primary because they have increased the cost per call. Next, it's oversaturated. So if you really don't have hundreds of reviews, it may not be the best platform for you, okay? Um, Next, even if the lead is still crap, you still have to pay for it. They have a dispute thing, but it doesn't always work. And at the end of the day, if I'm paying a, paying a premium for leads, like 40 to 50 bucks a call, I want that lead quality to be A1. Because imagine you get three calls a day and you don't, and they're all bad leads, and now you just spent $150 on three calls. No, I can't, it doesn't make sense to me. And then next, with Google local service ads, increasing your budget doesn't necessarily mean more leads, which is really unfortunate. But if you want to learn more about Google ads versus Google local service ads, as always, I made an entire video, I made an entire training and a video on the pros and cons going into more details about this, all right? So it's called Google local service ads. This will be linked below the, in the description below. You could check out that video a bit later. Now let's talk about Thumbtack and Yelp. These are not my fa favorite marketing platforms and I kind of recommend them as a last resort, not because they didn't generate leads, but the problem is with them is that they are a marketplace. And what happens on a marketplace, most people go there to price shop and find the best value for the cheapest price. The buyer behavior is one I cannot stand. But in the beginning, you do what you have to do sometimes to build your client list. I do not recommend either of, either of these platforms, meaning Thumbtack and Yelp, being a part of your long-term game plan. And listen, it may work for you, but at the end of the day, this training is about what has worked for me. But try everything, of course. Anyway, these sites have also been rumored to sell these leads to multiple people at once, which wouldn't be bad, but it makes it so much easier for the buyer to price compare and com commoditize your services. I'm not saying that these two platforms don't work. I'm just saying that it's not my go-to, but try it for yourself and see what you come up with. And next, 
Facebook ads. There's a strong love-hate relationship with Facebook ads. There's a consistent debate between what's better, Google or Facebook. Well, let's put that to rest before I continue. Google is 100% better with higher intent leads. People don't go on Facebook to search for a cleaning company. What happens is your ad appears in the form of a pattern interrupt, which means your ad was catchy enough to stop people from scrolling. But in reality, you want people who are intentionally uh, in need of your services, not potentially. Facebook ads gives you potential. Google gives you intentional. Now, the Facebook ad pros, it's a cheaper cost to lead, cost per lead, easier to create a campaign. The optimization time is really uh, short. It only takes seven days. It will generate you sales, but you're going to have to play the lead volume game, meaning you're going to need a bunch of leads in order to close one. Cons. The cost per acquisition, not the cost per lead, what it costs you to acquire one, one customer is pretty high. So basically you could generate 20 leads and close one, one deal, all right? So, and that could get costly for some people. Next, the intent of your leads are actually lower. Um, meaning, it, since it's not, it's a pattern interrupt pat, platform, these leads just filled out a form because it looked interesting rather than like on Google, you're searching cleaning company near me. The intent level is different. Hopefully you understand what I mean by that. And then it's a longer term follow up process to close one customer. Most people who are going on Facebook, like yeah, when they fill out a form, it's going to take a week or two to actually get in contact with them. And hopefully they will want to work with you by the time they do. So with all of that being said, I want you to take each lead platform into consideration and find what works best for your business and your budget. If you would like to learn more about our done for you Google ads setup, all you need to do is click the link in the description, Google Ads done for you. If you want to start generating leads fast, I highly recommend Google Ads, but make sure you have that landing page in order. So sign up for Go High Level. You're gonna need it regardless because that's gonna control your entire sales flow process. And we're gonna discuss more about that later in the training. All right. Anyway, there's no such thing as a bad ad advertising platform because the purpose of running ads is to get your company in front of people who need your services. But there is a such thing as lower performing ad platforms. So choose wisely. <coughs> Google ads, cough, cough, LOL. Bonus. Let's talk about Google My Business. <coughs> Google My Business is more of a longer term play. But when you optimize your Google My Business correctly, you will eventually no longer have to worry about spending so much money on ads. Google favors a great user experiences, user experience for their search users. Why? Because it allows Google to get more data and provide a unique user experience. So what does that actually mean for you? It means that if you follow Google's optimization rules, you will be receiving free traffic from Google and remain at the top of Google Maps. But I warn you, it's becoming a bloodbath on Google, uh, Google, Google My Business, so you need to be consistent and have systems in place in order to keep your company at the top of the ranks. Let me show you what I mean by Google My Business, just so you understand, and Google Maps. Company near me, Fort Worth. So this is Google My Business. You see all these reviews, et cetera, all that good stuff? That's exactly what it is. That's where you want your profile to be. The more reviews and the more optimized your profile is, the better you're going to perform and get free leads. Anyway, we'll get into this in another part of the training, don't worry. Now, um, so I told you before, I'm leaving no stone unturned, okay? But with that being said, we need to, one, I need you guys to have your Google My Business set up before we really get into this, all right? So make sure you have your Google My Business set up. Make sure you have your go high level set up. Make sure you have your CRM set up. Make sure you have your subcontractors in order. You should be following along step by step. All right. Now, um, just so you guys know, I've also created a more in-depth training about Google My Business. All right. There's going to be a video link in the description. You guys already know, but don't click on the don't click on the video yet don't leave this training because i'm about to give you guys a shortened but impactful impactful version on what you need to do in order to begin ranking on google my business so you can get a piece of the free traffic a piece may be the difference between your business making ten thousand dollars a month and twenty five thousand dollars a month so here's the step-by-step -step instructions one create your google my business account which you should have done already Two, fill in all the information on your Google My Business profile. Don't be lazy. Fill out everything. Three, 
Create an incredible business description packed with keywords. Next, add photos before and after. Make sure um, the before and after pictures look nice with branding. Also, create blog posts, or they call them, I think they call them updates on Google My Business, and upload them. Six, create promotions, all right, and add promo codes. Seven, get a review from everyone, and I mean everyone. We're going to go into how to automate that a little bit later. Remember, we're just building foundations right now. Okay? We got a lot more of this training to go along. We're just getting started. All right. But I want you to get a review from everyone. Ask your friends, your family, ask everyone to leave you a review. If you follow this, this little, this SOP right here every week, you will see how your organic traffic begins to increase week by week and you can become less reliant on ads. And that's the goal because who doesn't love free customers? And as always, if you need help setting up um, your Google My Business, all you're going to have to do is click the link in the description and it will be labeled Automate Google My Business. And I will help you do all of that. And I'll discuss exactly what I mean and we can get on a call, etc. All right, let's keep going. Fun fact, you guys. Now you see me in Colombia. I was actually writing this entire document out on my way to Colombia. I just finished a 26 hour flight from Thailand and I'm exhausted. So if you see any spelling mistakes, I apologize in advance. So that's why you may see some spelling mistakes and some errors because man, I did a total of 30 hours of flying and it just, it broke me, but hey, I got a mission. My mission is to help you guys out. So please take everything I say seriously, follow everything step by step. And I promise I'm going to get you to where you need to go. So now we have everything set up, you know, the paid marketing channels, all of that. You have the foundation set up. Now we're going to be dis begin discussing the customer journey, which, you know, from when the phone rings all the way until it's time to ask for a review. We're going to start talking about that. You still with me? I hope so, because we are about to bring the entire front end process together. So don't quit on me now. All right. You got this if you made it this far. So let's do a quick recap. At this point, this is what you should have. One company name, company logo, domain and email, Google My Business created, website created, booking software signed up, sales software signed up, meaning go high level. You should have joined the Boring Business Growth Hub. You should have subscribed to my YouTube channel. You should have implemented one organic marketing method. You should have implemented one organic paid marketing method. You should have optimized your Google My Business profile by adding the descriptions, the photos, and the blogs. Whew, I know. Talk about a to-do list. But hey, you wanted the real deal training without fluff, so you're getting it. One of my favorite sayings is this, don't cry about mud when you asked for rain, all right? Disclaimer, please make sure you have everything completed before moving forward. You are going to be thankful that you did all of this because remember, we still need, you get to, get, we still need to get to 40K a month and having the proper foundation set up for the first time, that is what's gonna get you there. But enough of me wanting to shortcut your success. Let's get back to the training. Now, we have customers calling your business. You are set up and you're established as a real brand and people trust to transact and deliver. All right, well, almost. We need to begin focusing on the customer uh, journey. So during this lesson, I'm gonna show you our exact customer journey process, all right? Meaning I'm going to give you the exact methods we use from the minute the phone rings until it's time to ask for a Google review. Once again, in the description, you're going to see customer journey SOP. Click that link. It will also give you this doc. Okay. And what's inside that doc is going to be our booking process, the day of the cleaning, uh, what to do the day of the cleaning, post clean and payment. So how to confirm the customer is satisfied and how to pay your cleaner. And then part one of training will be complete and how to get access. And, and it's going to show you how to get access to part two. All right, so I'm not gonna make an exact uh, an entire video. I mean, in this section, we're gonna go into part two, basically, on how to get the customer journey process down. So I need you to get part two, click the link, make sure you get the um, SOP first, and then begin part two of the training so we can go over the booking process. I mean, the customer journey process, all right? Now, make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel, subscribe to the Boring, I mean, join the Boring Business Growth Hub, if you want to get in contact with me directly, feel free to follow me on TikTok. I have all my links in the description below. Add me on Facebook. The journey does not have to stop here. The next move is 100% on you, but just remember, you actually do not have to go at this alone. You have a community that is ready to support 
uh, to support you and all you have to do is utilize it so the next part if you want to get the customer journey click the link in the description customer journey and then we are going to begin part two of the four part training series all right but thank you guys for watching this i can't wait to continue on with this training for you and i'm going to see you on the other side subscribe comment leave uh, any questions you have and i'm going to be more than happy to get back to you